Okay, so today is a little bit of an interjection to our storyboard tutorials, um, but this is a tutorial requested from a reader of the blog. Uh, so we're going to look at how to display a series of photographs or images in a popover, which when selected gets shown in a larger Im image view. So let's get started with this. First of all, I'm going to create a new project. It's going to be a single view application. I'm going to call it Photo Library. So make sure it's for iPad, Storyboards, and Arc. Create that and we'll save that on our desktop. I've already built this project as a little demo to ensure that I've got the requirements correctly. Um, so I'm just going to drag in some resources that I have from the first version that I built of this. It's the images that we're going to display. Oops, that didn't kind of work out the way I wanted it. Let's try that again. We'll drag that into this group. Copy them across and answer resources. I want to go to a storyboard. First of all, I'm going to change the orientation to landscape. I'm going to pull on a toolbar. Toolbar. So I'm always doing that. And we'll change the button to library. Okay, so. We want to have our photograph view, and that's just going to be a collection of photographs. So we'll pull on a collection view, and when we tap on library, it's going to show this as a popover. Let's move this over here. That our segue is a bit more discernible. And I am going to change the size of this by making it freeform and then changing the size of the view. And we'll make it 500 by 500. Um, that should be a reasonable size. Let's see if that displays now when we run this. Yep, so that's our popover. Let's rotate that round and when we click away, it goes away. So that's us. We've got a popover collection coming up. Let's take the cell and we know that this is 500 by 500. So let's make these 100 by 100. And that will give us a grid of 5 by 5 We'll get a UI image view. This will be used to show the image uh, collection. So we'll have a series of uh, images shown in this panel. Uh, first of all, what we'll do is we'll create <coughs> Excuse me, our collection view and library collection view controller, and that's going to be a UI collection view controller. do is we'll go first of all to the delegate uh, to the, yeah, to find the delegate of the collection view to find out what we need to implement and it's these two methods here we'll bring these into our collection view I'm just going to hard code the number of items in we have 10 photographs so I'm going to have 
10 items in my library. We now want to return the sale, so we're going to have to decide on what type of sale to create. Um, we've already added a sale here which is going to contain an image, so let's create this custom sale. And that's going to extend collection view so create that now we have so I want to create a property we don't want it as a private property we want it one that we can access so property it's going to be weak because it's going to be set in interface builder image view we'll flick to the implementation and we will synthesize that property um, now when we are inside a library collection view controller we will import this new cell so that we can use it here we will say library view collection cell equals and we want to use the collection view passed in by the delegate to DQ a cell with a reuse identifier cell and index path index path. Um, I want to return that cell but before I return that I am going to set an image on it. So I'll do cell dot image view which is the Cell that we've just created, and image and UI image view. Oh, UI image, image with name named. And the naming, we've came up with just a naming convention here. So the icons displayed in the library are image icon and then the, a number. So let's just put that in image icon percent. And .jpg and index path.row and that should give us 0, 1, 2, 3 and, and display the, the relevant image. I've only got retina display images in this project um, so if you run the project by getting this from GitHub and you don't see them it will probably be because you're running it in the non-retina simulator. I may do non-retina graphics just, just for completeness uh, when I put it up there. Um, right, so what are we complaining about here? Oh. I need to actually say NS string. Format. It's a bit silly, and that should be us. Okay, so hopefully, well, first of all, I need to go back to the storyboard and make sure that I've set the type on everything correctly. Um, the type should be library item collection view cell. Yep, and you'll notice that inside the cell, we are uh, inside the view controller, we are dequeuing cells of of name cell, so inside the storyboard we have to always remember to set the reuse identifier of the cell to be the same, so that it knows what to be cure. Hopefully, that didn't work, okay so let's go and find out why that didn't work. I'm assuming I probably didn't set the type of this which I've not, so that would be library collection view controller. Hopefully this time Yes, so it's hit. 
and still we have nothing. Right, let's work out what we're doing, what's happened here. If I name the images correctly, yep, we have them as part of our build. Uh, oh, let's check that we've hooked up the cell, everything. Yeah, we've not hooked up the image view. So when we were setting the image, that wasn't going to work. Yeah, there we go. So that's us got our images. Now we want to have these images displayed on the screen here um, when they're tapped. So let's look for the implementation, the right method to implement when we tap or select a cell. So it's this one here, did select item at index path. And we now need a somewhere to display. So let's create a, another outlet that we'll set in an interface builder, which is a UI image view. And this is going to be a display image. Synthesize that. Oops. If we drag on an image view here, this will give us an image view that will fill the screen. <coughs> drag. put my outlet in the wrong place, I put it in the library collection, which is not where I want to display that. Let's take that out, sorry. What I want to do is I want to display that in here. So the outlet has to be here. So the library collection view controller now needs to have a way of notifying the SS view controller to say here's the image that you should be displaying. So we're just going to create a simple protocol here. And it's going to be library. not to complain about it. It's going to be weak. Um, so that we can hook up to this delegate. This isn't the greatest naming convention, but it's really just here to show um, how this works in practice. So we need to call this delegate, uh, call this method on the delegate when something is selected. So first of all, we're going to create, what <laughs> excuse me, um, the, the file that we want to show. And it's going to be equal to the word image followed by the number of the row that was tapped and then jpeg now we need to say if the delegate responds to selector and this is
put that through the circuit here and we're going to call that method on the delegate. Oops. Put that in the wrong place. Let's put this in here. Files does so now when you tap on a collection view cell, um, we'll say to the delegate, This is the file you should display. So when the SS view controller uh, has its library button tapped and it traverses this segue, we want to set ourselves as the delegate so that we know when that cell is tapped which image uh, we should be uh, getting back. So, as usual, we have to do prepare for segue. First of all, we need to actually name the segue. So let's call this library segue. We can now identify it by saying self dot uh, segue. Sorry, identifier is equal to string. We now want to get a hold of the destination view controller, which is going to be of type library collection view controller. Destination view controller, this library that's going to show us the images, we want to set the delegate to ourself. And we don't implement that delegate yet, so in fact, I'm going to take out this import, I'm going to put it in our header, and then I'm going to say that we implement the delegate. I'm going to go to the delegate, pick up the method back to where we are and put that in the body. Oops, should have done brackets around it, that should be us. Okay, now should show image with image name, all we need to do is say this uh, self dot display image dot image equals UI image, image named, and then pass the name that we've been told to display. So, fingers crossed, this should work. Let's just double check we've hooked things up. This image view is not hooked up, so there we go, it's hooked up. And now, if we run this, we should see that image being displayed. There we go. If you don't want that image to be displayed full screen, you can grab one of the anchor points and just, as usual, position that wherever you would like it and to the correct size. And you'll see that the image is only shown in that area. Now you'll notice that when you're going through the images, that this pop over stays up, the only way to make it go away is to, to actually tap off it. If you want that to disappear, when you tap on a, an image, that's possible too. So what we'll do is we'll create a private property. And to hold the pop over That's presented. When we're inside our uh, the correct section of our um, prepare for segue, we want to say self 
to popu e non ci sto a spiegare questo ui story pod popu va segui s i cus so we know that this is a popu va segui e we want to see self to popu va equals s to popu va controller I've not created this, this should be a UI popover controller. We want to be able to handle uh, the popover controller so that when it's dismissed, if you tap away from it, um, this is set to nil so that that's not held on to and retained. So what we want to do is we want to go to the popover controller, look at the popover controller delegate, um, did dismiss popover, we'll grab that method. We will go to our header file. We will see that UI uh, popover controller delegate we implement. We will then put this method in. And when the popover has been dismissed, we want to set this to null to ensure that it doesn't have a retain count. Then, when we do should show image, we set the image and we can see self dot popover dismiss popover animated, yes. And hopefully, now when we tap in the image, it will be displayed and the popover will go away, which it does. So, you see, tap on an image and the popover disappears. So that's all for this tutorial. Um, if anybody has any questions or would like to like me to have a look at anything that they've got, then please feel free to drop me an email. Hope this helps someday and speak to you guys again. Bye.